Hey guys, it's Regina the Sweary Stitcher. If this video has popped up in your autoplay and you're not cool with swearing, uh, I'll give you a few seconds to switch over before I just launch in. Alright, I think they're all gone. Anyway, uh, this week is the FIA Chronicles. Just fuck it all. I've uh, been in a really bad mood. I started a diet and a workout regime. Just three boot camps a week or more. It's kind of kickboxing or boxing, martial arts. Um, just a good workout. And I'm eating paleo, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, the secret to the diet always have a full stomach. If you get hungry, you'll kill somebody. At least I will. I might have a little bit of a hair trigger. Um, anyway, so I don't have a whole lot of whip progress this week, but there's some. I guess it's been two weeks since I made a video, maybe more. Uh, there's, I have a little bit of haul, tiny, tiny bit of haul. And my favorite tools. So, um, let's get started. So, I am working on... Sherry, I'm crinkling the bag just for you. <laughs> anyway, I'm working on Stony Creek um, hometown, Afghan. I'm working on the old mill. I'm only going to show that much of it because the rest is the pattern. It's going to be a beautiful afghan. Like this. And I'm working on the mill right there. Be dusty. No, no. So, sorry, got to regulate every once in a while. Anyway, I don't have a whole lot of progress on this one, but I did put in this red barn. And I think the blue that is on it. Might be a gray. Shows up blue on here. Anyway, that's my progress on the old mill. And I'm trying to come up with what to put here. I'm not flipping you off. Sorry. Anyway, I get to name all the buildings myself. And she provides, well, Stony Creek provides an alphabet that you can customize. And I'm trying to figure out. I really can't think of anything that would be like an old mill name like the grinding post or something oh that sounds strippery <laughs> anyway so i haven't decided and haven't named that one yet but my next whip working on octopus dance by squareology hands-on design um and just another button company i gotta find some buttons because those are adorable I don't know if you can see them right there. And then there's like three little, yeah, three tiny little bubble buttons. Those are cute. So I'll have to find those. But anyway, the Squareology, they give you a fourth of the pattern. And you stitch it, flip it, stitch it, flip it, stitch it, flip it. Break my brain. It's a really bad one for me to start off with. Um, that's my first time using variegated. If you look at the actual model the way they stitched it the variegation goes from the top of the octopus head down on all the sides but me being super ocd i wanted the variegation to go all the way across just like it was like a dot matrix printer so um i've had to pull it out several times just to appease my ocd and i think the last time you saw it i had those two octopi, and now I've got a third. Well, I have his body. Um, and then I'm doing a different color. I'm using Tequila Sunrise variegated thread. I think it's by Nina's Threads, but I'm not sure. Goes from this lovely pale yellow to an orangey yellow to um, bleeds into like a fuchsia and, and then back through the yellows. So as I stitch, I'm putting the, the fuchsia 
in the body and then stitching out away from the body so that the tentacles get more variegated and more towards the yellow the further away from the body they are. And I think it looks really cool. And um, I have to frog it all the time because I can't read a pattern. Is what it is. <laughs> Sometimes I'm an idiot. So there's that. But anyway, that's my progress on that. Ooh, here's some of the tequila sunrise. Can you see that? See how gorgeous? It's so pretty. I love it so much. Anyway, the only other whip I have that I'm actively working on right now is the Tiny Christmas Stitch Along. And this is on a piece of linen. I think it's amber linen in 24 count from a Lizzie Kate kit. And um, we were stitching the Austin Snarky Stitchers. The asses had gotten together and were stitching. And we decided to all do the Tiny Christmas Sal. And one of the asses had this fabric that she was not going to use for her Lizzie Kate. She was swapping out the fabric. So I took it and I'm doing it two over one. It is so, so tiny and adorable. Was that freaky with me staring through it? Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, so it's so tiny. It's so cute. And I love it. I'm several days behind, but I will catch up. And um, that might be something that gets worked on today. So that's all the whips that I'm actively working on. And now for my haul, I am so lucky. I found Misty Johnson of Misty's, no, Mystic Hand Dyed Fabrics. God, I'm so sorry, Misty. Um, I'll figure it out and try and link it below if I can figure out that super Amish, so maybe not. Anyway, this is a 28 count piece of Monaco and it is fabulous. It is a lovely purple and it's actually, it has a lot more pink to it um, in person than what it's showing up. Pink boo. Um, but it is amazing and I love Misty. Mystic hand dyed. Just type in Mystic Hand Dye in Facebook. You'll find her. Um, and you can see pictures. She does amazing, amazing stuff. Apparently she is snow dyeing right now because they got snow. So that's my haul. And this is the rest of my haul. So Joanne's had a pretty kick-ass sale. Again, it was like 60% off. So I got myself a pair of gingers and I got myself some beads because I knew I wanted to make a scissor fob. I don't have any scissor fobs. I just have this boring piece of variegated yarn and I wanted an away toolkit and an at home toolkit. So I decided to make a fancy scissor fob for at home. And also the Package charms were on sale. So I got this little book locket, probably a diary because it came with a little tiny key. And it does actually open up. And the plan was to make it into a needle minder, put a, a neodymium magnet inside it and, um, and one on the back. But I needed something for the end of the scissor fob. So for right now, it's the end of the scissor fob. And I actually, this is like how I take my um, frugality a little too far. This right here is the ribbon that these beads were on in the packaging. And it just happened to be like the perfect length. And so I tied one end to my brand new gingers and one end to my brand new charms. And all together, this whole thing, 18 bucks, scissors included. So, and I feel like that's crazy cheap for gingers. And then I also got stuff to make it a fob. 
So that is actually my new favorite tool. I made myself an at-home toolkit, and um, I take in a magnet, neodymium one, of course, and put it right here on the gingers. I don't attach it or anything, because right now it's been like a, an at-home and a travel kit. But I put a magnet right here and attach it to my ot light, and it hangs just perfect. And then I also put my needle minder on my ot light. And it's actually one of the magnets from this needle minder. And this needle minder is my favorite because my college roommate made it for me. Hey, Mick. Um, she is awesome and amazing. And when I'm in a bad, cranky mood, like I've been all week in the fuck it all, um, she sends me chocolate. <laughs> She's just always looking out for me, and I love her for it. So, mwah. <laughs> anyway, she repurposed an old pin and used some E6000 to attach a magnet. And I take the other magnet and put it on my scissors. And this one, I just put my... Oh, crap, I lost a needle. Because <laughs> I took it off my needle minder. Makes sense. Anyway, I hang it also on my ot light a little closer to the lamp so that it's right there by my eyeballs. And they're super strong. They will pinch the crap out of you if you haven't noticed. Um, don't get between the magnets. So, um, more of my favorite tools. This one you have already seen in my afghan. I ended up having to grid it because I kept messing up and having to unpick that. And the Afghan fabric is super unfriendly when you have to frog out of it. It's ridiculous. So this is sulky silver. Well, it might be sliver <laughs> because it says, I just always thought it said silver. And then I saw that it didn't, and I thought it was a typo. I, saw, I thought it said sliver, and then somebody said sliver. And I was like, oh no, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm an idiot and I can't read. So actually, I don't know if it's a typo on the bobbin or if I just can't read words anymore. <laughs> anyway, I grid with it. It's like it's like the, um, the finest bit of aluminum foil, and it comes out perfectly um, at the end and you don't have to worry about stitching on it or shredding it or anything like that. It's not going to pull out any of your stitches or shred anything that you really like. And so I use it for my gridding. And this one Bella got a hold of, chewed the crap out of it, and I could have murdered her because the whole thing is like I don't know, I think I paid almost six bucks for it. And I was like, oh! Because um, she ended up breaking a lot of the thread here. And so I had to throw away chunks of it. And I was so mad. But I don't think I'm ever going to get to the end of this spool. It is so much thread. And it's amazing because I grid everything um, that I have screwed up on before. I'm so fascinated with watching the video, so sorry I'm looking down. Anyway, um, so this is my favorite gridding tool, and I just thread it on my needle, and I go, for me, just the way that I do it, and everybody has a different way they do it, I go up to, down to, up to, down to, up to, down to, and that way everything meets at a 10, but I also don't get lost in between the crosses. Um, so that's how I do mine. And that's how the Afghan is gridded. More favorite tools. This is my traveling quart jar. And this one is from Kate Lantry at No Name Needle Minders. And she made it for every, she made one for everybody that went to the floss tube retreat in Austin. And she is so super sweet. And look, it's even sparkly and pink 
and it's got all my orts in there and you can see where I've even pulled out gridding and put it in. Anyway, it's way better than the um, giant prescription bottle that I was using to hold my orts um, because Bella chewed the crap out of that too. So far, they haven't gone after this one and I'm really glad. And it folds up so nice and neat so that it goes in my toolkit and it can travel with me. And it's soft. I love it. So, thank you, Kate. Um, two more things. My friend Erica got me this bag. <laughs> it's like a vinyl bag. It just says, get me cake now. And it works so great for holding all my crap. So, I've got in here my variegateds for the octopi. I have my travel tool kit, which she also got me. And it has a little vinyl front. So I usually put my needle minder and my needle behind there so that I can find it. And it has two sections. So the other section is needles and my scissors. And I even have some, um, what do they call them? Thread pullers? Needle pullers. Needle pullers. So a little silicone um, thimbles for your fingers because I was stabbing the shit out of myself with regular needles. And so you just pull them. This works really great if you're working on tough fabric. Um, it's really excellent if you're working on um, even like the wood pendants and Things. I made some projects for a craft fair and um, these saved my fingers. Also, if you live somewhere cold and like your thumb cracks or you get a boo-boo on your thumb or any other finger, you can just slip one on and not worry about puncturing a wound and bleeding on fabric or anything like that. I don't use them um, in my daily stitching anymore because I switched to Easy Guide needles. And those are badass. They're the ones, I really don't think you're gonna be able to see this, but I'm gonna try. They have a teeny tiny ball on the end of them so that you stop stabbing the ever-loving bejesus out of yourself and making everybody else in the room cringe. I am so good at stabbing myself that I can just about make my father-in-law sick listening to me stitch um because it would just be <laughs> as it rammed up under my fingernail so these little babies right there oh, you can see the ball they are a lifesaver so that's what i use now they may be available under some other name um like ballpoint needles or something like that but i get these from an Etsy seller um, who's also in the Facebook stitching group that I'm in, which by the way, if you are awesome and you can not be a twat and you can just scroll on by if you see a comment or a project that you don't agree with, then feel free to join. It's called whatever the fuck you want, cross stitch. But it's the initials. It's WTFYW. And it's a really amazing supportive group. But um, don't be a dick. And I think that's even the profile picture for most of the year is a cross stitch of the like no smoking symbol without the cigarette and then a B and a penis. So just don't be a dick. If you can handle that and you can scroll on by, then go for it. I love that group. It's amazing. It's where I found most of my asses. So, um, it's great. I forgot why I was telling you about that. <laughs> anyway, my last favorite tool is my $10 Ot light. This bad boy right here. It's like 50 bucks or something online, but it was at the crafting thrift store in Austin, 10 bucks. 
So my good friend Sherry found that for me while we were browsing shelves and I was so overwhelmed finding everything and I was so into the fabric in the back and the magazines and the partially done kits and um, patterns and gosh, there's so much and I found variegated threads. I mean, holy crap, everything was there. Um, but she found this one and it is my to-go light and I use it anytime I'm out somewhere and they don't have quite adequate lighting. I will say that before I found this one, I was unwilling to pay 50 bucks for it. But if you go on Joann's, they have two animal print designs that are on clearance or like get rid of it now pricing. And so for I think 30 bucks, I got a zebra print, one of these, which I love this pattern so much better. I'm so envious. Um, anyway, I got a zebra print one and it came with the little clamshell light, the little flip light, which is usually 20 bucks on its own. So for 30 bucks, I got something that was worth like 70. So, um, if you need a travel hot light, this one is batteries. You can also buy an adapter to plug it in here. Um, if you do run it on batteries, bring a spare set with you because once it starts to dim, it goes pretty quick. But um, that's that was a solid find. So thank you, Sherry. Wait, let me look into the camera. Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> All right, I think that's just about enough, but the last thing I wanna show is a finish. And I'm working on the this is fine meme. And someone in one of the stitching groups had drawn out the pattern, made up the pattern for the first one, this one. Absolutely freaking love it, it's fantastic. And right now I don't have the words in it because the um, I'm doing six panels of it and the other words, the font will have to be adjusted. So um, I'm gonna wait on stitching the words until we figure out what it needs. Um, my, my college roommate is patterning these for me. I'm super appreciative. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so um, that one is actually the second frame in the six panel series. And I decided I wanted to stitch all six of them. This is actually the first one. So he's just chilling, drinking his coffee. Sorry while I play with cameras. He's chilling, drinking his coffee. And then he says, this is fine. And then it goes through until like his skin starts melting off and everything is a flame around him. And then he's a little skeleton and I love it. And I was in a, um, a bad job at the time. So it was really like, I needed something to stab. So, um, that's where that motivation came from. And I'm stitching it on 14 count black Ada. I don't really have a problem stitching on Black Ada. Um, even in dim light, I'm good. So I count myself lucky and just appreciate that. Okay, I think that's it. And I'm super excited I made it through the whole video without the dogs barking because this is like, I think my 11th or 12th time trying. <laughs> so anyway, that is my update. And I will see you sometime soon. Maybe I'll have a guest ass with me. Um, maybe. We'll see. All right, guys. Ranger is asleep. Bella is asleep. Dusty is asleep. So I guess it's just me. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.